Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to use underscore g in Roblox. So yeah, let's start off by creating a script, and let's create a variable. Let's call this x, and let's set it to 10. So yeah, x is 10, so, so now let's use underscore g. Now, here's how we use underscore g. We're going to set a variable for underscore g. So we can do underscore g dot whatever variable name you want. I'm going to name it number, and I'm going to set it to x. So now underscore g that number is equal to x and x is equal to 10 so this will equal to 10. So if we can just print underscore g underscore g dot number then we would get 10. So as you can see now we're getting 10. Now here's where things get cool. So basically um, if we go into another script and let's add a wait so that way this script does not run before the other one so and now we just print this one on a separate script so as you can see there are two different scripts then what's going to happen is that it's still going to print underscore g that number which is 10. you might be wondering what's happening here and that's what's happening is that you're, you're setting for setting a variable for underscore g and that underscore g variable will be available for any scripts on that side so basically we're using a normal scripts and normal scripts are used to server side and so that means that if we use underscore g on the server side, then those variables will be only available to server scripts, aka regular scripts. And the same goes for local scripts. If you're using local scripts, those are for clients. So if you're using underscore g on a client on the client, then that those variables will only be available on the client. So yeah, so it, we can demonstrate that by getting a local script, and we can do underscore g make a variable we can do the exact same thing get it still work and let's just set it to five okay we're gonna add another weight so now if we're gonna print underscore g dot number what you're gonna see is that on the server it's gonna say 10 but on the client it's gonna say five as you can see right here so yeah you can change it whatever you want so we can just do underscore g dot x and it still work as you can see see okay and you can also set multiple variables so let's say we want to um, on the client so let's make more variables so underscore g dot y equals 2 and underscore g dot z equals 12 so we can print underscore g dot x underscore g dot y and underscore g dot z okay so now if we would uh, do this you'd get a 5 a 2 and a 12 on the client as you can see just like that so that's the okay so yeah and if you try to like, call an underscore g variable that does not exist on that side then it's just gonna print no so yeah that's basically what underscore g is and another thing um, if you if you typed underscore g you might have seen this thing called underscore version and that's basic that just basically tells you what version of Lua Roblox is using so it's not that useful as underscore g but in case you're wondering that's that and yeah i hope you enjoyed this tutorial i hope this helps you and uh yeah see ya